Souls for Souls started out with um, a simple idea of someone that worked in the footwear industry and a missionary coming together after the tsunami, Asian tsunami, and saying, wow, we want to help some people. The only thing he knew was to get shoes, and the only thing the missionary knew was how to get product into countries and help them. So they kind of put that two together and uh, came up with Souls for Souls. Today, it's much different. I mean, it's not just a disaster relief organization. It's an organization that's out there every day on the front lines trying to um, eradicate poverty. Two words, eradicate poverty. We're we gonna be able to do it, I don't know, but you know, are we gonna try everything we have? Sure, but that's our goal. And every day we wake up with the thought in our head, how do we get closer to that goal? All of my volunteers, Today, what we're going to do is we've got all the sizes of shoes set out behind you. They start off with children's 11, 12, 13, and then it starts with 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5s. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have the class come up and take a bench, and we're all going to be sitting on the opposite bench. Believe me, once it all starts, it's utter chaos, but it's controlled chaos. So that's what the plan is today. We already got our first class here, and these are the first graders. So. Welcome to first grade class. Hands up. Greater Good, which is one of our partners, the CEO was going to Haiti and he actually was going to work with some schools and try to figure out how Greater Good could help those schools better and called us and asked us, hey, can we get some shoes? And I saw a great opportunity to come down and, and work with these guys and we uh, gathered the shoes that we have and for me, it was something I've done a thousand times, but the, the feeling that I always get when I see it in um, someone else's eyes that they get it. And that, that was the, that's the thrilling part on my side. That's the cold chill. That's the goosebump part is when you see that um, all your hard work goes into working with a partner and, and making things happen and they actually get it. Greater Good does some amazing things with a ton of nonprofits. I sometimes think that they don't even realize how, how much um, nonprofits like us depend on what they're doing. They're kind of behind the scenes a lot of the times and um, really just are there to support you. Uh, without their support, uh, there's a lot of things that couldn't be done. I mean, I know for us in the past uh, three years, there's been over $120,000 donated to Souls for Souls. And literally, that's 120,000 pairs of shoes that would not have went on people's feet in the past three years if it wasn't for greater good. Um, the purpose of this and what we hope comes out of this is even a closer relationship because I think there's a lot more there that we can do together um, if we just figure out the way. You know, we put together some programs and, and figure out how we can, you know, actually help eradicate poverty together. We just gave away about 150 pairs of shoes in like 35 minutes. <laughs> it was fun. It was chaotic. Kids screaming, really sweet. And they were just like the nicest kids that I've ever seen, you know. And for someone who doesn't speak very much Creole, PPT, Pigwo, say bon, and they're like bon. And it was just, it was heartwarming. It really was. How does shoes save someone's lives when these people need food, when these people need everything else? I mean, what difference really can a shoe make in someone's life? That's a great question. And um, at the end of the day, shoes are the forgotten piece of survival. There are so many diseases that don't cause death directly, even though a couple of them do, but there are so many diseases, especially on the continent of Africa, that when worms come in from the bottom of your feet, they weaken your immune system that a common cold can kill a child that's six years or younger. All because their immune system is weakened by a disease that comes through the bottom of the feet. Um, shoes are important for school. Uh, a lot of children, especially in countries in the Caribbean, all the schools are Catholic schools. So their uniforms. Well, parents can seem to come together and get five, six dollars to actually buy a uniform, but when it comes to the 18, 19 dollars to buy a pair of shoes, 
they're lost. So we run into people every day, children, every day that one day on Monday, he'll wear his shoes, then his brother gets them on Tuesday. On Wednesday, he gets the shoes back, his brother gets them on Thursday. On Friday, the, the brother gets them and he's able to wear them. Then it starts over the next week. Every single week, on, the two children only be able to go to school either three or two days. And let's not even talk, I was talking about boys. Let's not even talk about the women because little girls don't even get to go to school because it's not important for them to even get an education over the brothers. So if there's only one pair of shoes, the little girl will never get to go to school. So, I mean, a pair of black shoes is really important. You tell the person down the street that has never been able to go to school because she hadn't owned a pair of shoes, how important a pair of shoes is. And I guarantee you she'll come up with a really good answer. You talk to that child, you hug them, you wash their feet, you wipe their tears, uh, put on a new pair of socks and give them a pair of shoes. You really feel that compassion and you know um, that that you have the power to do something about it. And yes, one person can do something about it.